you bring up your brother. Yeah. For those, of, for those who don't know, there are really darn good football genes in this family. Like if it hasn't been cloned out yet and sold like on the market <laughs> for making the next epic athlete, I don't know what has, but you're talking about Hall of Famer Marcus Allen, correct? That's correct. That's my uh, oldest brother, my older brother. And what was that like growing up? Were y'all playing street ball all the time <laughs> and just dominating other kids like Debo style in the neighborhood? Like, I need to know what what that was like. Uh, you, we play football in the street. We emulate what we've seen on the television uh, because we're also a baseball family. And so we all played baseball and football going back and forth ever since we were about seven years old. But yes, when we're outside back in those days where you can be outside and playing, we're outside playing all day long. And somehow when dinner time was called and Marcus probably beat us to the table majority of the time because, you know, he's uh, much bigger, six, three <laughs> and a half, you know, 200 something pounds. And when, and he seemed like he was that same size in high school, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he ate all the food by the time we got to the table. <laughs> That's why you were skinny. Because Marcus was fast and big, and he ate all the food. <laughs> yeah, he got the food. <laughs> okay, okay, I like it. Now he are... he, sorry, he has one of the most famous Super Bowl highlights. I just want to hear if he ever bugs you about that or anything. Just like giving you a shot. Like, look at that highlight. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's it's amazing, and my whole family was at that game. Um, yeah, in Tampa, and I wasn't there because I was oh. playing baseball at Cal State Fullerton. And it might have been going towards the, you know, college baseball playoffs. And, you know, I won a national championship at Fullerton playing baseball with the baseball team. And so I didn't go to the game, but I definitely watched it on TV. And it's always great um, to see your brother perform at the highest level. And like saying, when you want to perform, you, you want to perform when, <laughs> when the game is on the line. And, and, and right. for me, the things that most people remember is, you know, I played in four Great Cup games and three of the Great Cup games that I played in, I was the Great Cup MVP of that game too. And so it's those games where you dream about performing at the highest level. And every time I got in those kind of games, it, it almost felt like deja vu that I've been here before because I've dreamed all my life about playing in these kind of games. And so, and my brother's the same way. Yeah. You know, that's why... I, you know, his greatest performance was the Super Bowl. And, and so I've learned a lot, you know, from my my older brother, Marcus, and my older brother, Harold. Uh, they taught me how to be uh, professionals on and off the field. Um, my dad and mom taught us about the respect, respect that we have for the game. And so it's a combination of all. You know, I know we know history. We can go all the way back to Fitz Pollard. <laughs> to Jackie Robinson <laughs> and all these guys yeah. that uh, that opened the door for us. And so for me, I have a great amount of respect for people who came before us, but also a great amount of respect for the game of football. And the game is bi always would be bigger than the individual. And so with that, I mean, you, know, you bring a, a, a certain type of mentality when it comes to, you know, playing the game. 